how did pinkus and his team arrive at the concept of administering estrogen and progesterone combination daily to suppress ovulation this idea was not spontaneous they drew upon their knowledge of the fundamental hormonal regulation of the menstrual cycle i will elaborate on this the two hormones required for ovulation are fsh which starts the cycle by stimulating immature follicles to grow and produce a mature egg and lh surge which is responsible for the release of the egg from the ovary the ovulation event itself two other hormones estrogen and progesterone are at high levels after ovulation in the second half of the cycle they suppress fsh and lh during this time preventing the ovaries from releasing more eggs if fertilization occurs estrogen and progesterone levels remain high throughout pregnancy providing a continuous suppression of ovulation on the other hand in the absence of pregnancy their levels fall causing menstrual bleeding the levels of estrogen and progesterone in the combination pills mimic the hormonal state after ovulation tricking the ovaries into thinking that ovulation has already occurred FSH and LH are constantly suppressed no egg is matured or released the pills are taken every day for 3 weeks followed by one week of placebo pills containing no hormones during the week of placebos estrogen and progesterone levels fall triggering a so called withdrawal bleeding or fake periods the bleeding serves as a convenient indication that fertilization did not happen but it is not required for birth control If you want to learn more about combined oral contraceptive pills please watch my full YouTube video called Combined Oral Contraceptive Pills Masterclass the link for the same is given below